Welcome to another Journey into Maya lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a webcam. To start off, go to Create, and then down to Polygon Primitives. We want a sphere, but I'm going to click on the option box. I'm going to set the subdivisions to 12 by 12, and then the Z axis, and hit Create. I'll then hit 6, so I can see my object a little bit better, and then I'll enter Side View. I then want to go into face mode, and I simply want to select these faces, and then I'll hit R for scale, and I'll scale those flatter. I'll then move them back a little bit. Next I will extrude those faces after hitting the manipulator reset tool, and in perspective view, I'll go ahead and reset the divisions down to 1, and then I'll hit G again. or actually click on extrude face and I'll go ahead and set the divisions of this to 3 and then I'll hit uh, the move button here and I'll just kind of move it out a little bit to kind of create a little bit of a bow next I'll go ahead and just select these faces here hit W and I'll move these out to create the last bow and that looks pretty good there Next, I'd like to go ahead and select all of these here and go ahead and extrude those down and in like so. And I'll set the divisions to 2. And I'll continue to scale down to something like that. Then back over in face mode. I'll select two faces and I need to select the uh, loop for these faces here. After selecting these faces, I'll then select two face rows out as well. Like so. I'll then extrude those, and you can see I have some extra faces selected that I don't need. So I'll go ahead and undo and then deselect the faces I don't want. Now with just these faces selected, I'll go ahead and extrude those. I then want to extrude those back and reset the divisions to 1. And I'll continue extruding those back a little bit further to something like that. Now back over here in object mode, I want to create the chord. So I'll go ahead and select faces and I'll select all of these faces here. And after selecting those faces, I'll extrude those down by scaling to about like so. And I'll reset the divisions down to 2. And I'll go ahead and continue scaling a little bit more. Down to about there. And back in object mode, I'll select the faces one last time. I'll deselect these faces because I don't need those. And this one. Hit F. Scale out a little bit. And in the top view, I'll go ahead and just extrude these faces out a little bit. And then flatten those like that. Alright, next I'd like to go to Create and CV Curve Tool. And I'd like to hold down X and snap it to the grid. And then I would like to simply make this cord that goes off screen. And in the side view, I'll hit enter and then I'll go to control vertices. And I'll move these down.
like so. Right, like that. In their perspective view, I'll go ahead and select faces, and I'll select all of these faces here. And then I'll select the curve. I'll select that curve in object mode, edit polygons, extrude the face, and I'll set it to 15 divisions, and I'll hit extrude face. And as you can see, our chord is created. So then I'll right click and go to object mode, and you can see that things are a little rough looking. And first of all, I'd like to go to Edit Polygons, Normals, and I'd like to Soften and Harden, just to kind of soften things up a little bit and get a better idea of how things are looking. And next, I'll go ahead and click on my object and convert to Sub-Ds by holding down Alt and then clicking the little, uh, or hitting the little squiggly line above Tab. I'll delete this outer um, object here, and then I'll hit 3 on this object to really smooth it out, as you can see here. And that looks pretty good, and I'm happy with it. In the next lesson, we'll go ahead and build the stand and the pivot point. Thanks, guys.